This shit is annoying for obvious reasons, right? We we over here in the states and the in the colonies we we refer to this as cooning, you know, acting like a coon, buck dancing, doing prat falls, uh, you know, making a general public nuisance of yourself. You know, ideally it's uh, designed to make you look like uh, a non-threat to. To the minority majority okay but like it's really annoying and shit it has a, a sinister underside and shit and that it is designed to undermine the masculinity of straight black men here in the here in the slave quarters okay now let's call it the same slave quarters and i refer to this goddamn country our ethnic community as the goddamn slave quarters because of shit like this you know in part all right because we have people that can just come in to our community with no code of conduct and shit. But if you, if you go to their countries and you do weird shit that they don't like, they'll harm you. Okay? They'll fuck you up. Okay? They'll take you out. I've heard many stories. We've all heard stories of, uh, you know, Americans going over to, you know, to the countries and doing some shit they didn't realize and pissing them off and getting immediately chin checked, you know? Or disappearing and shit or whatever, being robbed. And I'm just tired of shit. You know, I'm tired of this cooning ass behavior. This shit, I'm calling both of these motherfuckers ops. Okay? I'm calling both of these motherfucker ops and shit. They have no self respect and shit. Okay? But, you know, it's, it just has a sinister side to it and shit. Okay? It's designed to make, to make a mockery of black people. Alright? It's just like wearing blackface. All right, these niggas is wearing blackface in, in the black community and shit, okay? They goddamn tethers. And I don't feel like I have to make a disclaimer. If you ain't doing no shit like this, then, you know, I'm not referring to you. But, like, we, you know, I, I don't want to say we need a code of conduct, conduct. We need a lot of shit, okay? We need a lot of shit, but, like, you know, I've been noticing for a minute these fuckers been coming over here uh, pretending to be us and shit and just doing... Doing the most and shit, okay? Like, half of the egregious shit you'll find in social media and online, you can trace it to a goddamn tether, okay? To a tether, pretending to be us. Now, I've put out videos in the past where I busted, you know, female, you know, uh, you know, female tether, uh, pretending to be a, uh, uh, American black woman and shit, three Ks and said. You know, pretending to be a regular black woman and shit and talking about you don't need these niggas and all this shit. It's fucking African. Okay, so a motherfucking African. And these dudes are tethers and shit, okay? I don't care where the fuck they come from. I'm disgusted with their behavior, especially the guy in that first clip. He wouldn't have made it out of that goddamn restaurant if I was in there with some brothers. Okay, he wouldn't have made it out of that shit. All right? Just metaphorically speaking and shit. And that second dude, man, you... You see why he's so swollen shit. He needs that shit to, to defend himself. Okay? He's not a part of the pronoun community. Okay? He's not a part of that. He's just out there just doing the most and shit. For some reason, when he was doing that, I kept thinking of Kevin Hart. I kept thinking of Kevin Hart because he made a career on being an annoying little coon and shit. And then I'm looking at this motherfucker and shit. Okay? He's out here shaking his titties and, you know, jiggling around and shit. I'm just like, man, just put a... You know, I'm like, just go full, full blown drag, you know? Put a fucking dress on. Put some lashes on. You know, put a wig on. Put a blonde wig on. You know, it's probably next anyway. It's probably done that in private for some white dude that done paid for his services. 
Okay, I'm just disgusted with these with these guys. Okay, and these tethers in general and shit. Okay, I made a video a long time ago where there was a, you know, there was a concerted effort by these people, these ops, these agents, to just uh, go to places, you know, that were associated with, uh, you know, black people, you know, foundational black people, if I may be so bold, and and make a mockery of themselves. Okay, you had a tether at the fucking. You know the Lincoln Memorial and shit, with with a wearing nothing but a towel and a bonnet and shit, with a bucket full of water, and he was doing the same thing this motherfucker, this full ass nigga was doing. He was doing the same fucking thing, messing around at the Lincoln Memorial and shit, dancing around in front of a bunch of white people. All he had to do was, you know, I think he should have wore a little pill box hat and got two symbols and clapped them shit together, and the white people should have gave him peanuts. They should have threw candy and and coins at him and shit. You know, I would have liked to thrown some coins at his ass, you know, and give him a, a, like a free lunch, you know, give him a whole two piece, all right, to the chin, all right, and I don't even get into it, there was a female tether, and during that same time they had went to that same memorial, you know, a black tether, you know, and she was doing that weird shit where she was doing like a weird rain dance or something, shaking, she called herself twerking, and she was doing it on uh, Martin Luther King's birthday, so they, they come over here, they have no respect for our culture whatsoever, our, the good culture. All right, I don't want to hear shit from any of you motherfuckers talking about our culture over there and shit, okay? Because if you do, I'm going to come burn your ass. I'm going to burn your ass. You just take this fucking L. Okay, you take this shit from me, okay? You take, you need it. All right, you motherfuckers have no code of conduct. And retired, I'm going to separate from you motherfuckers, okay? I want to separate. I wish they could find some way to just, you know, mark you fuckers, okay? So that people know who you are. Okay, this ain't enough. We're saying it and shit. Like some other content creators, they're actually making videos that identify you motherfuckers. You know, when you do these some of these crazy crimes you do over here. You know, some of these crazy psychotic criminal activities you guys do. And then, you know, the, the minority majority just says it's black people doing it. You know? It's black people. Well... There's a contingent of the black community that you never see in, on in, in media, shit, in front of the camera. Okay, we're not that exciting and shit. We're just, we're regular. We're citizens of this bitch, okay? As in as much as you can be under the minority majority uh, purview. All right? We got enough problems in our community without, you know, bug dancing coons and shit from, from the outside, of, outside of it. All right? You, you're not invited to the fucking cookout. Okay, and, and it's just, I guess it's got to reach a fever pitch. You know, I really like to see some mobbing behavior when someone's off cold. Like, off cold and shit. I'm just tired of seeing this cooning, nasty ass shit. It's not funny. You know, uh, fucking Cardi B was saying, like, leave that ladder, that big swole guy alone. Oh, he's just having fun and shit like this. I'm like, well, what if he makes fun of your fucking culture? Huh? What if he makes fun of your shit? You don't have no fucking standards, you know? She don't have no fucking standards. You know, she's in show business. She's in the music industry. You know, just think what she had to do to get where she had to go. And shit. So she, we know she don't have no self-respect worth of shit. But she being a hypocrite, you know, promoting her shit, you know, but she doing different in her house. She ain't doing the shit that she tell these dumbass black women to do. That's the same argument I use for these goddamn coons. You don't do this shit in your own country. You don't go to your country and dance around a book dance and coon in this shit, you know, in the middle of a, you know, a bunch of brothers out there. You know, there's some brothers over there in them other countries that, that'll, you know, they'll take care of you, okay? And I'm just saying, like, over here in this community, man, we're so fucked. We're so fucked. This shit is, like, so, so crushing, and that's the point. That's why they're doing it and shit. They want to muddy the waters. They want to make black people look as uh, infantile and mindless is humanly possible. It's all part of the plan and shit to present us as a, a lesser um, a lesser being. Okay? Alright? This is a this these guys are ops. Uh, their activities are designed to muddy the waters in the black community and destroy our public image as people and shit, you know? Alright? That's what they act that's what they're doing. They're just doing the worst, okay? They're out there Buck dancing and cooning and shit. And they have a, a plethora, you know, and they, and they commit a lot of really crazy, insane crimes that 
you know, insanity, like straight up insanity. And a lot of times you look at it be some fucking Tesla doing some of these crazy crimes, like, you know, killing motherfuckers and, you know, doing shit like mutilating them and, you know, all kind of shit. Weird shit, man. They bring over here, they bring the fucked up ways over here and they coon in and the backbiting and shit and the, the you know, crawling on their belly, you know, and, and, you know, buck dancing and opening their pussy, you know, for, for uh, the minority majority and shit. And then they do that with they with they uh, use their melanin to masquerade as foundational Black Americans and shit. And so you know, I feel like calling it out because I looked at this shit. It got on my fucking nerves and shit. And I gotta admit, you know, I probably be wearing an orange jumpsuit. You know, if I saw that big swole nigga doing that in front of me, man. You know, if I saw him, man, I think it's disgusting, man. I'm glad that he worked out. And he you know built up his body, and he looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger's. Uh, in the fucking, like, early 80s, and he got that kind of physique. I think he needs to have that kind of physique if he's going to go out there and be a, a op, you know, be an agent of chaos. Yeah, I think he's. I think he, he should have, be swole. You know, I hope he keeps working out, okay? And I hope he keeps his fucking head on the swivel and shit because, you know, he might get a free ride in the back, you know, in the trunk of a Lincoln Continental, and, you know, they just move on in. And getting that fucking plastic bag, you know, but, you know, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just, you know, being introspective about, you know, what, what his chances are in the future and shit, okay? I'm just saying, you know, I'm tired, man. You, I'm not going to have an argument with you fucking tell us. And if anybody come in my fucking comment section fucking around, oh, uh, we're going to do a dance and shit, okay? Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.